ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ജോവായ ഫാക്സ് ജി യു വൈ ടുട്ടോറിയൽസ് ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വീഡിയോ വി സെറ്റ് അപ്പ് നെറ്റ് ബീൻസ് വിത്ത് സീൻ ബിൽഡർ നൗ വി വിൽ ഗോ ടു എ ക്ലിപ്സ് ഫസ്റ്റ് വി വിൽ പ്രൊവൈഡ് സപ്പോർട്ട് ഫോർ ജവ എഫ് എക്സ് ദെൻ വി വിൽ മേക്ക് യൂസ് ഓഫ് ദി സീൻ ബിൽഡർ എൻവറോമെൻറ്റ് വിച്ച് വാസ് ആൾറെഡി ഇൻസ്റ്റാൾഡ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോ സോ ദി സീൻ ബിൽഡർ എൻവറോമെൻറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഷെയർഡ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ നെറ്റ് ബീൻസ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ജവ എഫ് എക്സ് ഐ ഡി ബട്ട് ദി എഫ് എക്സ് സപ്പോർട്ട് ഈസ് not yet available so for that we will install this specific software efx clips ide and you can see what are all the support it provides now let's directly go to the demo because we know what is efx analysis so we already got introduced to fxml now let's go to the demo so now we will open eclipse uh, axigen so we used it while learning java 2d right we can keep the same workspace and here going forward we will use netbeans only here we are just showing you how to enable java fx as well as scene builder inside eclipse so here i'm choosing file new java project instead we can choose file new other java f fx so fx project is not available for that what we have to do click on help choose install new software so if you are running behind the proxy sometime you may get a error you have to contact your network administrator to provide a uh pass through authentication for uh, the third party location all right here i'm choosing install new software then click here and pick uh, download eclipse.org release axigen so if your uh, version is different then you have to pick correct location before that you have to refer the documentation whether the specific uh, software ships with the version here if you see i'm going to click on this axigen uh, repository and the software repository location is download.eclipse.org release axigen and here it will show all the supported software that you can install so when you install your eclipse whether it is uh, axigen neon or whatever version by default the mandatory softwares will be installed and if you need you can pick a specific uh, software here if you see i need java fx so i am expanding this general purpose tool then inside this is efx efx for eclipse so that's how they named it eclipse in between they kept fx that means java fx for eclipse ide version is 3 because this software will get downloaded from uh, this uh, location all right i am picking this one item selected click next so you need internet connection because it's downloading from that location when i expand it it will show all the 
stuff that will get installed in our PC. Here if you see, FXML support is now available. Not only that, you can make use of CSS and other stuff that will get downloaded along with this uh, EFX clips. Alright, now we will click next. I accept the license stamp, click finish. So it may take some time. Here you are seeing that installing software. It's asking you to restart the system. I mean restart not restarting the system it's asking to restart the eclipse so do that now now let me click file new other okay here itself it got expanded or if you want you can type java fx and you will see all the java fx related project so here you can click java fx project click next then we'll say test test project click next next here i am using fxml now by this time you know what is controller we already learned as part of netbeans setup so if you want to change the file name you can do that so here i am clicking finish It may take some time, so I'm pausing this video. So I waited for almost three to four minutes. Let me cut down this. So it is trying to build it. We will delete it completely and we will recreate it. Okay, we will exit. So that's uh, bad. We can even delete this workspace if it doesn't work. So the restart worked actually, but uh, there is no source file in here. So I'm deleting this. We will once again create new. Other. Java FX project next I 
click next so the same step i am doing fxml that's all click finish so this time it worked now we have sample fxml right so here you can choose to open it will open the sample fxml or you can choose open with fxml editor or generic text editor or even you can open it with the scene builder so this will be our border pen if you don't want you can delete everything and add a anchor pen then add control as you want right so that's all uh, here going forward we will use uh, netbeans id and uh, proceed with the examples here you can see the added button that's all here uh, in this uh, video thank you for watching bye